morning Saturday morning and I'm out without a coat I mean I am wearing two jumpers and one of them is a thermal but yeah it kind of and it is freezing but it's uh, a gloriously sunny Saturday morning in Vauxhall and I'm uh, just off to do my job um, in Battersea on the 15th floor of a new building. I think it's going to be a really nice, it looks like a really nice restaurant, Spanish. Um, and yeah, I've been up with the Larks this morning, which is brilliant considering I was DJing at the King's Arms last night, but I only had a couple of drinks and well actually went to bed quite late but slept pretty well so yeah I'm up and at them this morning and looking forward to getting this done and then getting back to my Saturday whatever that may hold hope you're having a nice morning So I'm just on my way home from Battersea. The restaurant was really beautiful. It was on the 15th floor of the Art Hotel, which is the new bougie hotel on the Battersea power station complex. It was incredibly beautiful. The view was amazing. Being opposite the towers of Battersea power station. Spanish restaurant they were all really lovely the chef was very obliging even though he was very busy two Michelin star chef I can't remember his name but I'll add it in somewhere but yeah it was really beautiful they were all very friendly although I did have to ask for a glass of tap water um, it was a tricky place to shoot in as well because um, it's very bright outside and very dark inside, so it was hard to get a sense of the outside and particularly the view of the power station, but I think with some retouching it might work okay. We shall... It's all in the edit, basically. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. I'm going to show you the power station from here actually. And when I finished I went to uh, meet my friend Duncan for a coffee. He was working around the same area. I thought he might be so I just um, dropped him a message to see if he was around. I didn't film him because I've got so out of habit of filming. Filming stuff I'm doing. I. Uh, completely forgot but we had a nice coffee and a catch up which was fun I haven't seen him for a while so if you watch the vlog regularly you'll maybe remember Duncan from a couple of vlogs and yeah now I'm just heading home that's me 
done for the day in terms of work. Um, I can get back to doing whatever I'm going to do with the rest of my Saturday. I don't know what that's going to involve at the moment, but let's see. Um, it's just nice to be out, out doing some work. It's, uh, I need more of that in my life. Oh, so I just spoke to Stuart, actually. We're going to go for a coffee, another coffee, in uh, the park, Foxhall Park, which is really close to where we live. So I'm going to meet him there, which would be nice. Yeah, it's just nice to be out. It's a great day. It's still chilly, but spring definitely feels like it's in the air. So... We need to make the most of that, really. It's amazing how one's mood is lifted by the weather. <laughs> I feel like I'm coming out of my miserable winter phase. Yeah, long. I hope it lasts. I hope the weather lasts and I hope my mood lasts. <laughs> we will see. Did you order me? I have, yeah. <laughs> Hello. How you doing? I decided to walk from Guildford. Oh my God. Well, I actually thought I'll get my steps in. Won't have to do anything for the rest of the day. But it was quite a walk, about three miles. The last bit, including this uphill. I'm knackered. I really hope this hotel is worth it. And I'm in the middle of nowhere. I didn't buy any chocolate. I didn't buy any water. So for the next two days, I'm solely reliant on what I can get at the hotel. I hope they have oxygen. thought I'd do film a little bit now before um, while it's still light um, yeah so basically the place is called Barnet Hill it's an old country house it was actually the home of the Thomas Cook family originally and obviously now it's a um, boutique hotel it's in its own grounds miles from anywhere it took me about i was so stupid walking but i really just thought it would do me good to get a bit of exercise because i'm not sure how much more i'm going to do this while i'm here 
but it took me about an hour. The last bit was uphill. We're on a hill, Banner Hill. The clue is in the name. And but it was fine. You know, I got here all right. It was a, not a terrible walk. I probably didn't have the best boots on for walking, but anyway, we're here. Yeah, I'm not in the main house, which is I'm a little bit sad about because. It looks really beautiful. We will be having a little look around there at some point. Uh, I'm actually next door in the old coach house, which is lovely. Um, and yeah, the room's nice, you know. I didn't pay top dollar. Um, I think it was like £140 a night. I just get a discount because I used um, a night I had Owen from Hotels.com um, But so yeah, basically I think it cost me £180 including breakfast for two nights But I think it would have been about £100 more Had I not used my free night So yeah, um, I'm here till Friday I'm just gonna chill I'm happy to be here I was a bit kind of apprehensive this morning, but um, I'm kind of looking forward to just the peace and just being away from <laughs> Vauxhall, two days away from South London. Um, I'm here because Stuart's away on a hen weekend from today and I just thought it'd be nice to do something just to decompress. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens. here it's not brilliant I've just been for dinner over there at the main hotel it was really lovely um, it's so funny because the whole idea of coming here for the next couple of days was just to have like a break and kind of relax and I feel like since I got here I've been kind of fighting against that. It's very weird. Um, but I feel, yeah, I feel really relaxed. <laughs> I've had two massive glasses of Merlot which might have helped but um, yeah I feel like I was like <sighs> fighting against it but it's so quiet and um, yeah just you don't realise living in central London how I think you just become immune to the noise and the hustle and the bustle and it, you don't realise until you step out of that what, what quiet is and how lovely that is and how in itself that's relaxing um, so I'm determined to appreciate that as much as I can for the time that I'm here um, I mean I'm still getting annoyed by people though two people the restaurant was completely empty in the hotel apart from two guys who were pilots or something and they were just kind of sat right in front of me just droning on and on and I could feel myself like getting really annoyed but I was determined that they weren't going to spoil it for me 
spoil my dinner, which was lovely. Um, but yeah, I think I just messaged Stuart before and he was like, oh, what's Guildford like? And I said, it's just like a normal little town. Um, everybody walks at a snail's pace and are dressed really badly. <laughs> um, and it's just, yeah, it's just so weird. I, like, I haven't been out of London for six months and it just feels really weird. So this is where I'm staying. In the courtyard. I think there's somebody here celebrating something, hence the balloons. There was certainly some twat at 20 past seven this morning playing music really loudly. It's eight o'clock and I'm due in for breakfast about 8.45, so I'm having a nausea around. I had the worst night's sleep imaginable. Hotel noises, a strange bed, um, horrible dreams. Yeah, I slept really badly. The bed was really comfortable, but I slept so badly. Um, but surprisingly, I actually feel full of the joys of spring today, even though the weather is not. Um, I've had my green tea, I've had a nice shower, and yeah, I'm ready to sort of face the day. I wish it was nicer weather, but... Um, yeah, what can you do? Anyway, let's have a little look around. It's really lovely. So I think I probably mentioned yesterday actually, it's um, this is the original home of the Thomas Cook family. So it's quite a sort of historic, interesting location to visit actually. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, Thomas Cook is a famous travel company. I'm sure everybody probably knows that though, do they? Anyway, aside from the weather, which is horrible, <laughs> I just can't get over the peace and quiet. So I've just had my breakfast, which was lovely. Sat for a little while. It was very quiet. There was only a few people in. And um, yeah, I'm just going out for a walk. I do not know where to because I'm about an hour's walk from Guildford, which I will not be doing again. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna head out for a couple of hours and see what's around.
so I've just walked down to the village which is called Wanersh. Wanersh, I think that's how you say it. Um, it's very pretty, but I'm so sleepy. I just went in um, the village stars, which is behind me, and uh, had a little walk in the churchyard. Um, and now I'm just wondering what time the pub opens. <laughs> There's some really lovely houses around here, but they all look like potential targets to be held up at gunpoint in the middle of the night. Come to think of it, walking around here, I probably look like somebody who would hold a house up at gunpoint in the middle of the night. <laughs> I've definitely hit that part of town where the coin is. These houses are so huge. I guess this is all you people who've made their money or inherited their money or are just rich enough to live behind big high bushes. Note to Stuart, I want to live behind a big high bush. Ooh. So I've just um, walked down to the next village which is called Bramley, which was cute. I got some supplies from the co-op. <laughs> And on the way back, I've walked up this very steep bank uh, called Gerald's Wood, which actually leads to nowhere. Oh my God, it's so warm. I mean, uh, I have just walked. How much have I walked? 14,743 steps. So I've done my bit for today. I wasn't very optimistic about the weather this morning, but oh my God, it's so beautiful. And this house, actually, this house is incredible. It's, I just can visualize it as a private home, you know, during the 20s and 30s. How amazing. The parties that you could have. And it's got such an air of murder mystery about it, which I love. <laughs> it's just completely up my street. Yeah, it's really lovely. I mean, imagine living here. Imagine this is your, your gaff with all these grounds and how incredible. What a, what a lifestyle. And there is literally nothing around. We're at the top of a massive hill and it's, it just feels kind of isolated from everything. It's lovely. I really need to do something like this with Stuart soon. I, I miss my little buddy. And we just haven't, we haven't been away anywhere together really since the pandemic, since before the pandemic. I think we've had one night in Brighton and since 2019, we really desperately need to get away. I think it would do us the world of good together. And I do miss him. <laughs> Mm 
I just had a little chat with the gardener. We both agreed that it's spring. He was checking all his plants. Um, he said they had a really hard time last year with the drought <clears throat> and then the cold in the winter and the deer coming up and eating them. But he's very pleased to see that um, the garden's coming back to life. Bit of a different day to yesterday. It's very wet. I'm just getting ready to leave. But I thought I'd have a little last wander around the garden before I go. Didn't realise it was raining quite so much though. Probably not going to stay out very much longer. <laughs> I found a little place to shelter. <laughs> I'm kind of sad to be leaving. It's always sad going home, isn't it? Well, kind of a mix of sadness and kind of excitement about getting back to normal. I, um, but I wouldn't want to stay any longer on my own, at least. It's, it's definitely done the trick. It's done what I wanted this last couple of days to do, which was just give me a bit of downtime, a bit of time to reset. I mean, I haven't come up with a plan about what I'm going to do with the rest of my life, but it's definitely been nice to just get away and let go of some of that kind of stress and anxiety that I've been feeling. I've actually started reading quite a practical book on dealing with anxiety, which I'm going to talk about in another vlog, but when I've got a bit further down the road, but I've made a start at some methods to help control my stress and anxiety, which I realise is very, very much related to, you know, my life in London. And I think I need to just get a grip on that because I'm not ready to leave London yet um, I'm not in a position where I can leave London but also I think I need to make more time for things like this because uh, it just has really helped it's, and it's something and I've spoke to Stuart this week it's something we need to do together as well because I think a break together would do us the world of good so yeah I'm kind of happy that I came a little bit sad to be leaving but also happy to get back to normal life um, it's a really lovely place to stay it's not perfect by any means but I would definitely stay here again it's 